हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू सो येस्टरडे आई पुट अप अ पोस्ट ऑन आई टी के फन डे कम्युनिटी एंड आई आस्ट वेदर यू वुड वॉन्ट टू हैव अ प्रिव्यू अ स्नीक पीक ऑफ वॉट द कोर्स हैज द क्लाउड वन ओ वन ए डब्ल्यू एस फॉर डमीज कोर्स विच आई एम बिल्डिंग राइट नाउ इट इज लॉन्च एंड द मॉड्यूल वन इज ऑलरेडी देयर बट आई जस्ट वॉन्टेड टू शेयर दिस विद अ वाइडर कम्युनिटी इवन इफ यू आर नॉट देयर टू एनरोल और लर्न दैट्स फाइन बट आई वुड कीप ऑन ब्रिंगिंग सम बिट्स एंड पीसेस ऑफ दिस कोर्स ऑन द चैनल सो दैट यू ऑल्सो लर्न अलॉन्ग विद द कम्युनिटी ऑफ लर्नर्स हु हैव एनरोल्ड फॉर द कोर्स सो हेयर इट इज एंड लेट मी नो इफ यू फाउंड इट यूजफुल एंड येस ऑफ कोर्स इफ यू फाइंड इट यूजफुल एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लर्न ए डब्ल्यू एस एज अ बिगनर there's a course i'll give the links in the description so go check it out there is a discount right now aws 40 and you'll be getting 40% discount straight away so let's get ahead with the this particular chapter what the hell is cloud so friends welcome back uh, to this chapter 2 of module 1 where we'll understand what the hell is cloud and why it can be a great career option let's understand cloud in a very basic level okay so we often get confused uh, but i would take a very real life example to explain you what the cloud is so let's uh, let's do that brainstorming for me cloud is nothing more than renting a house it's as good as renting uh, let me explain you how so let's take an example suppose suppose there is a guy suppose there is a guy okay and this guy wants to look for a job and for for that he comes up with a idea okay and that idea is okay let's move to a big city because in his city the job is not there for example mumbai bangalore london things like that so once he reaches that particular city what do you think what would be his first option his uh, his first uh, goal his first goal would be to get a job right but can he find a job just as it first of all he has to find a home or a house or a flat right and that becomes his place to stay and do the job search so do you think he would prefer buying a house no right no he would rather rent it because renting has different benefits number one benefit is that you have the flexibility flexibility of paying whatever rent you have to pay every month because you might have to go to some other city some other uh, in some other month if you don't get a job here second thing is maintenance the whole house is maintained by the landlord so you don't have to worry about anything uh, which is being done at the society level or at uh, you know at the house level everything will be maintained and then you will all only pay the rent for the time you you stay right if you are staying for one month you will give a one month rent if you want to stay for some more months then you will pay the rent likewise right so as a you know as a person who's looking for a job your what is your main business what is your main business your main business is to find a good job right similarly when a new company for example comes into the market and that company for example wants to sell toys wants to you know manufacture and sell toys to children but they then want to market it right they want to have a landing page they want to build their website they want to build their social media and all that they want to build their custom application from where uh, they want to uh, you know where they want to use all these facilities to uh, grow their business right so for that what they will need they will need it they will need it infrastructure which will need servers you know databases all these kind of stuffs they will need so if they go in the market and buy it it won't be a good idea because they don't know whether they'll be able to sustain in the market or not at the very first place secondly the maintenance and everything will be huge so what they will do they will go and rent it and that's what is cloud computing 
when you rent out the IT services from you know from big giants who have been building their IT solutions for ages like AWS like Google all these people when you go to them and say boss can you give me a server for one day they said okay boss you pay for one day and take it that's what is cloud so basically cloud is on demand IT Whenever you want to use a resource, you go to a cloud provider, they rent it out, they rent the resources to you. And that is how the whole cloud com computing uh, works. So I, I, I hope you have a basic understanding. Another layman example could be, you know, you buying electricity from an electricity provider, right? You don't put up a transformer or an electricity generation setup in your house. You go and you get electricity from someone, from some provider because you just need to pay them every month for whatever electricity you are using you don't have to worry about how they are generating electricity building dams building turbines you don't have to worry about all that you just you need light in your house that you can do your job okay so it, so cloud computing in very simple terms is on demand it services provided by all these big giants to you so that you can do what you meant to do using that it okay so guys, now let's look at the formal definition of cloud computing. So cloud computing is the delivery of computing services, including servers, storage, database, networks, software, whatever, over the internet, over the internet. That's very important over the cloud, over the internet. So that's, that means that you could basically get IT services from anybody from any part of the world. If they have the infrastructure, if they have the resources, they can lend it to you over the internet and that includes pretty much everything which you are seeing on the screen so that is how we formally define cloud computing one another very good term to define it is in one line is if someone asks you what is a cloud you can simply say cloud is on demand it that is also a right definition so yeah that is a formal definition of cloud and these are those big three players aws azure and gcp and as as we talked about everyone give everything on rent okay they rent it out so i know i i hope you are now very clear about what cloud computing it at a very base level we will also talk about the benefits and all those things the features about cloud types of cloud we'll be we are coming to that but at a very basic level you should be able to explain cloud to anybody so yeah so let's go to our next uh, section which is why cloud is a great career option which is a very important module because first of all according to gartner the cloud spending has been re uh, you know has been rising dramatically and by 2023 the whole industry would be close to 600 billion you know dollars the second good aspect about it is and uh, why why uh, the second good aspect about cloud is that we have a variety of roles we have variety of roles okay all these roles you know are meant for different kind of technologies starting from cloud architect to cloud engineer all these kind of roles are meant for different kind of purposes so you as a technologist could choose your own path. If you're coming from a network background, you can go into that role. If you're coming from a developer background, you can go. If you're completely non-technical, then you can become a project manager or a program manager or a customer success manager. This is more of a sales driven role, customer success. Okay. So all these kind of options are there. And I just took some data around uh, Google and found out that the salaries, the average salaries are quite good. If you can see i'm not quoting it i'm not quoting it okay so you need to you need to uh, you know you need to do your own due diligence about this i'm not quoting any of these numbers but yes if you are going into a cloud role the salary is quite good so yes this was the this was uh, the end of this chapter we understood what is cloud it is similar to renting a house the big three the googles the aws and the azures of this world and why you should choose cloud as a career up next is 
what makes cloud different from traditional IT? What six benefits? I think we covered some of those benefits already, but we'll understand it in a more detail, in more uh, in, in a manner where you could answer these questions in an interview. So let's go to our next chapter and understand these six key benefits of using cloud.